on, cheekies. Come on, cheekies. Come on, cheeks. Come on, cheeks. To keep dogs out. Ow! Come on, chickies! Hey, Scrappy Cat! Hey, Dusty and Mary Sue. You're two hours away and have way more light than me. So, what I'm doing is Calling the chickens in for the night, and I'm gonna move some stuff. Come on, birds! Come on, chickies! Okay, so my birds get bribed to go in their house, and I'm sorry if this is moving fast for some of you, but uh, if I bribe them, they'll go in pretty quick, and I don't have to wait till it's full dark. Come on, chickies! Get in there! Um, they're a little, little disconcerted because I gave away some birds today. Uh, before I end up getting my surgery and a family in the congregation, I only had one hen left. And so, we donated a few birds today, so they're, they're coming a little slowly. Come on, Jiggy! Get in there! Everybody's got their favorite spot, too. Okay. So the turkey's gone in there. When I go to the coop when it's dark. Yeah, they do go to the coop when it's dark, but I usually want to be in the house when it's dark. And so I, I bribe them in. Plus, I got to go to the ducks, and I'm going to take you guys down there, too. Just haven't checked in lately, dealing with medical issues. Finally decided, come on, Jake, here you go, Jake. Finally decided on the treatment I want. And then found out the doctor I'm supposed to be going to doesn't do that treatment. It's an older treatment for hernias. It's like one of the originals, and it takes longer to heal from. And so uh, all the young doctors, they want to do the... The more complex procedures that get you back on your feet pretty quick, but have some side effects. Come on! Come on, chickies! Come on, chick! Here you go, chickies! Man! Come on! Oh, look at my turkey. She went in there like she's supposed to. She's being such a good girl. Come on, chicks! Come on, chickie! Oh, and look here. There's a grapevine growing along this string that I put up there last year. It's a wild grape. Starts out there. And then it comes along the chicken run area and then out across the string and it's already got the little grapes right there growing on it. There's Lost Light Shalom and Dennis Harris, Tulsa, Oklahoma here. Front or back, I had one when I was a dancer that had to put a bio net in my crotch. I go to the coops. Okay, shalom, Rachel Heithouse, shalom. So I'm going to try to get these girls to go in that last coop. Come on, girls. Get on in there. Go on in there with the rooster. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Go down there. She don't want to do it. Come on. Get in there with the rooster. Get down there. You little stinker. All right, I'll just leave that door gapped a little and, and uh, close it up when it's dark. All right, go ahead, be stinkers if you want. I thought I had a lot more hens. I counted 18 at one time, but I don't know where some of them went. I got the rooster crone in there. Who else is in here, y'all? Roll call. Say howdy to the folks. I know there's more than six of you, but there's only six comments. 
All right, so the ducks are fussing because they can hear stuff's going on down there. I know I also have birds um, sitting on nests. All right, so we're going to take a stroll. Come on now, all I see is Dusty's Comet. Who else is in the house? All right, so we're gonna load up some black oil sunflower seeds for the ducks and their food. There's 26 of you now, come on. There we go. All right. Down to the ducks. Put that in there. Okay. Get up in here. There's a look at the garden for a minute. 23 of you. Come on now. Who else is in? Let's see. Oh, there's a bunch. Jason and Scott. Jason in Virginia. I just wait. It's my excuse to look at the night sky. How do you keep that rats out of the feed going into the enclosures? There's Dana. Shalom. Uh, it's going to be noisy, so you're just going to want to enjoy the photo. But I will say that those um, Metal cans can be locked down if I want to, and so that's how the rats are not going in there. There's Aid. Shalom, brother. Are you back down to Texas? Time to click the like button. There's Lynn and Daniel. I'm the loud one, says Dusty. It's so green. You feed the birds this late? Just wondering. Just a little bit of bribery. When are you looking at surging, and what's the recovery time look like? And there's Vicki Fulkerson. I will answer that question, Scrappy Cat, in a minute. we are got to get down to the ducks. So just hang on and enjoy the ride. And we're going this way. There's Nancy C. Shalom. Back in the big team now. Awesome. showing me the life I long for. Nancy, more people have found uh, morels and we found zero. I'm just so surprised. Like this place should have morels somewhere and yet we have found nothing. So the ducks have been playing in these puddles all day long. You see how muddy it is and disturbed. And that's a seasonal pond that can dry up when it's not a lot of rain. And then that's the liner. I bought a liner and I filled it with water. And that stays pretty much at a level the whole time. And then this is the peach tree. And it's got this rot on it right there. You can see that leaf. I've got to pull that leaf off because it'll cause the peaches to rot. And uh, there's some peaches right there, right there, right there, all along there. And so all those leaves that look funny have to get pulled off. Like that one. And then I burn them because they've got a rot on them. So, 
Seems rude to denude the tree, but I can't help it. It's not the tree's fault that a rock came along. Then, let's see. It's still pretty, like, there's not a lot of grass in here. Fruit grow in the intense heat. Cert fruit, certain fruits absolutely love it. Some more peaches, more rot. I've got to get all that off. I haven't even started on this tree. Drives me crazy. Anyway, blackberries. And right out here on this thing, I pruned it back, but these are the wild grapes coming back. Climbing on that support right there. So let's get these animals. I don't lock them up at night anymore. Um, we haven't had any predators in a while. And it's kind of crowded in their house for the ducks with a dozen of them going in that house back there. So I just feed them and then lock the gate or shut the gate. That's Maurice. She's mean. And Maurice right there. All right, let's give you a duck's eye view for me. I forgot the bucket of sunflower seeds. I gotta go get them. Howdy from not far from you on the border of Kansas. Well, howdy, Farmer Joe. Yeah, I gotta go get that bucket of sunflower seeds and put it in there. They're good for the ducks. A lot of protein and oils and things. All right. Here we go. Sorry if it's bumpy and fast moving, but y'all, I want to get this done. Shalom, Shuffer Mountain folks and ducks and geese. Shalom, Paula Joe Davis. So Paula Joe, that hen turkey that my son got for me has laid three eggs that I have found so far. And uh, she's not sitting on them yet. Another goal for me in the next day or two is to get some straw and build her a really nice a straw bed where she laid the other eggs maybe she'll sit but I don't know if those eggs are fertile either because our our male seems to be very excitable but he doesn't seem to have any game it doesn't seem like he's done the deed so we'll see there's JC Fixer Shalom I'll let you guys look at them again Watching you two. Don't be a jerk. Don't be a jerk. Okay. So maybe there's engineer to succeed. Shalom. Gret, a non binary turkey. I think he's just maybe inexperienced. He's very happy with her. He just doesn't seem to know what to do with her. Okay. Now. What I'm gonna do is uh, get this guy set up so that you guys can see my face and I don't have to hold it and it will, it will stop shaking. Farmer Joe saw some city folks discussing having solar to operate an incubator to have chickens in Tewaukee and I was just like, no man, you just keep a hen, right? You get that one or two, hens who go broody every year and you give her the eggs and she'll do a way better job than the incubator at teaching them chicks how to eat and drink and scratch and go to the coop at night and think about an incubator it takes a lot of power you're gonna have to have a pretty big solar system to run an incubator all right so i'm gonna switch me around the rest of us guys figured it out, the Tom will too. I figured, you know, this summer maybe the father just knows we've got a lot on our plate. And so he's, 
he's not making the geese and turkeys uh, have offspring because he knows we're a little busy and I may be out of commission after the surgery and so maybe he's just like no you don't need to do that right now the view is so pretty well thank you this is uh this is our own little national park as I like to call it we just really enjoy our property um, Solar for an incubator sounds like the dumbest idea I've heard in a while. I mean, we have enough to run one. We've run an incubator, and if you don't have a hen who's going to sit, you don't have a lot of choice. But, like, I would rather have my solar to have lights and, like, to charge my phone also. Um, what did Paul Joe say? I think I had a little accident from that one. Time for the frying pan. Maybe... Maybe he wants them to be a dink. Uh, Usually he will figure it out. Laugh. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. You can incubate it in a box with a light bulb. You have to rotate the eggs multiple times a day, though. Right. I mean, there's ways to do it. It's just the incubator, automatic incubators are way easier and take less time. You just have to check the water levels every once in a while and they're already the one i have will turn the eggs and stuff too but i've done it the other way i've done it where um you are turning the eggs yourself and and that works too um what's on y'all's mind i haven't been in contact i just there's so much that goes on on the homestead this time of year and uh, it's hard for me to get inspired um like right before I shot the video, right before I decided to bring you guys in on it, um, I was putting a shade cloth on my greenhouse because the older one had ripped and I'd ordered some new ones. So I was out there tying knots and stretching it out to go over the middle part. Um, and then I put some diatomaceous earth on my Brussels sprout seedlings because they're getting the, um, what do you call them? Dang it, the little teeny tiny green bugs aphids they were getting aphids on them and it was affecting the growth do you have broody chickens they will sit on turkey eggs if you let them i do have a broody hen and i put one turkey egg under her but it was soft shelled and she ate it so i don't know if i trust her right now but i may have more go broody later um let's see who just stepped in bitty brew brown shalom bitty brew we were just talking stuff what's on everybody's mind and um, if people come in the chat who are trolls, they can be trolls as long as they're not offensive. Lost sight. I, ha I have baby lambs. My two youths both had twins, one set of girls and one set of boys. Boys ended up being bottle babies. Well, congratulations. We have already separated out our lamb from last summer, who will be the Passover meal for everybody. There's Mary Negray. Thought you were giving her a treat. Beautiful day today. It certainly was. It's a little bit hot. I'm actually starting to sweat on my face. Um, oh, there was something else I wanted to say. Tag gone it, and it just went out of my mind. Shoot, Passover, lamb meal. Oh, Naomi May was the one who made the towels. She made some washcloths that I busted out finally, and I haven't seen her online in a while. If anybody knows her. I think she's in Illinois. Um, she made those really gorgeous washcloths. And I knew her name was Naomi. I just couldn't remember the other half. It's been 85 to 86 ups in KC. So hot. And we lost power. Ugh. It got up to 85. Such a beautiful day, though. Yeah. Real clouds, not fake ones. You know, all that stuff. Um, was, it, was it planting? No. Greenhouse? No. Gosh, darn it. I've already got lettuces up. I was eating lettuce on a sandwich today that I grew myself. We've been cold and rainy this weekend out west. Any, anybody uh, going to be doing the Passover this year? Yeah, 80 degrees is kind of like not comfortable anymore. And I put on shorts. And I'm ready to get my summer stuff out. So Vicky's doing the Passover, engineered to succeed. Yes, Scott, yes. 
Yeah, I'm doing a shake spot in my kitchen window for my kitty that likes to watch the squirrels. I want to put my spider plants in the same kitchen window. Plan to for sure, said Nancy. We are, said Paula Jo. Yep, got a year old ram ready for it. Yep, lamb, but not doing the lamb, just doing the best I can with what I have. And then that's what you do. You do the best you can. Yep. There's Mrs. Lackney. Yes, ma'am. Smoked brisket. Yum. I'm going to try. Still learning how to follow the right timing for Passover. Yeah, and I don't think about it anymore because we've already made up our minds how we're doing it each year. But there are different calendars that people want to follow and different traditions. And so when you're new to it, you kind of aren't sure if, you know, someone's doing it a week different from somebody else or if the Israelis are doing it two days different from somebody else. It's kind of hard. Do the best that you can. There's Cole Cole Shalom. I'm not as worried about World War III happening. I haven't even really been watching the news. Oh, someone, that's what it was. Scrappy Cat asked me about treatment and so on for my hernias. So I did all this research. The, the doctor I saw consulted with me, showed me, you know, two treatments. One of them's called Nissen fundification and the other one was called Lynx. It's a, it's a device. And the fundapilation, funda they take part of your stomach, wrap it around your esophagus, sew it in place. That's a one-way valve, and you can't burp or throw up if you have that procedure done. And it's four to six weeks recovery, and both of the surgeries I've heard about are laparoscopic. Yes, Line and Lamb Ministries is run by, um, gosh, Monte Judah. It's been in the movement a really, really long time. Um, anyway, then there's a, a one called TIF, Transural Internal Fundipulation. And that one they do going down your throat and they do some kind of incision and, and sewing your stomach around your esophagus. And then the last one was the original and original treatment for the hernias that I have, and it was called the Strata procedure. And Strata was an electromagnetic pulse that they applied to the bottom of your esophagus, and the muscle and scar tissue formed from that close it off so you don't get the GERDs and the acid reflux coming up. And that one has zero side effects. No danger, like the Lynx thing is titanium and it's magnetic, but it can separate and it can um, get corroded and it can like impinge on your esophagus tissue and the fundipulation thing. Five years down the road, lots of people have to have it redone and all of it sounded kind of ugh to me, but the strata thing, it takes a year to recover from, but it's... 90% effective and there's no side effects. So that's the one I'm going to try to do. Hey, Teresa Jukowitz, no burping or vomiting forever. That doesn't sound healthy, says Stray Kitten. Yeah, and you get a lot of gas too. And you can't really control it because nothing's going up. So uh, that's why I'm like, no. Yeah, exactly. Um, yes. So that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at having the strata and the person that I talk to doesn't do it. So I've now got to find someone who does. And I'm going to ask my regular doctor, not the specialist, if he can help me find a, a doctor that'll do it. Alive when I'm not at it work. Shalom y'all, SK. We keep you in prayer. Sister Kate, thank you. Yeah, I think the father's been pretty kind so far. Like comfort wise, there's only a few things that make me uncomfortable. One is overeating which I shouldn't be doing anyway, and certain spicy foods. Um, sleeping's a little hinky because that's when the acid wants to sneak back up. But I do have a medicine that I'm taking before I go to bed that's, if I stick to what I'm supposed to do and not drink or eat after like 6 p.m. at night, then I don't get as uncomfortable. So, thank you, Mark. Um, yeah, and the... The morel mushrooms, man, 
I went walking around part of my property with my daughter. We saw no sign of them anywhere. And someone showed up at the congregation today and had like six and said, oh, there's 20 more out in our pasture. We've got them all over the place. And I'm like, dang it. What are we doing wrong? I guess I'm just not looking hard enough. I have the areas in here where I think they should be and they're not there. And then it's like, ugh. Anybody else had morels? What am I missing about Sawson? Is that someone I may know? Yeah, bless you. With many morels. Thank you. Any way to spread the spores? Well, Nancy gave me some morels and I ate them. Um, and she gave me some water with possible spores in it. So I'm going to dump them out. And I told the other person uh, who found them on their property, I said, if you gather them, please try to capture uh, spores and give them to me and I'll throw them out. I just realized that we got a lot of property. I should look harder. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. It's not time here yet for them. Yeah, it's may, way earlier down here. Pizza would be great. Um, I had some sauteed with egg. That was yummy. Um, I think I put them in a Thai curry too. They're just good. They're just good. Biddy Boo Brown, do you have a wedge pillow for sleeping? No, I don't. Um, but what I did do is I um, took some, I don't remember if it was two by four blocks or whatever, and I put them under the, the ed, head end of the bed to have the bed up a little bit on that end because people said that helps. Uh, sleeping on your other side, I do that as well. Morels and quail braised in butter is amazing. It would be amazing. I sauteed some, I don't think they were quail. Might have been guinea fowl in butter with like some kind of mushroom or onion or something. And man, that was so good. I put morels on my homemade pizzas. Yeah, they're just, come on, you can't beat it. They taste good and they're, for some people, just growing out on their property. That is an excellent situation you all are making me hungry for morels someone told me they're fifty dollars a pound too i i have never sold any if i ever find them i eat them that's what my son does too with the blocks yeah now our bed is different than most people's bed it's like um it's not a regular bed frame but I did put the boards under the head part. And then I've got this comfortable mattress, one of those um, styrofoam ones, only it's supposed to be for cooling. And Pastor doesn't want it on his side, so I folded it over and I sleep on that. It's a little bit uncomfortable, but I don't wake up with a backache. So you know my bank cards are compromised and canceled. Oh my goodness, Teresa, with which bank? I heard they're easier to spot at night with a black light. I haven't tried it though. Oh, I forgot about that, Mary. I'm looking for horseradish. Want to make fresh horseradish sauce. Everyone loved it last year. Nice. I heard quail are no good after SHDF because they need special diet or supplements. Um, I've never raised quail, but I heard that domestic quail don't hatch babies. Although I ran into a preparedness person who had done quail in her garden beds and hers hatch chicks. So it might be how you keep them. Crystal Allen, we are in Western North Carolina. Look for morels today. Found two pitiful little things. Aww. At least you got two. Sauteed guinea fowl sounds great and much more quiet. Yeah, they absolutely are more quiet. If, you, if you're if you cooking them up, then that, you won't hear that squawking anymore. That's for sure. I thought I saw, it might have been my dog running around the, the side over there. Look, you can see the, the blackberry vines are in bloom over there too. You know the white? Yeah. And then the pear tree, I didn't prune the pear tree. I didn't prune any of these trees this year. 
and they're all just really leafing out big time. Did not see one pear on that tree, but there were pears back on the, the one at the back. Protein content and the grind of the feed. 22% protein is good. You can give them calcium by pulverizing their eggshells. Whistling ducks don't quack. I like the quack. There you are. Hi, I'm PJ, and I found my wife on the internet. <laughs> he knew I was out here locking animals up, and I'm later than I should have been. Which bank, Teresa? Which bank is failing? Which one is is uh, canceling credit cards and stuff like that? Itty boo. You can also free range them in an enclosure and throw them scratch grain supplement with pulverized eggshells. Yeah, I heard stick them in your garden bed, but they have to be enclosed in there and they'll eat all the bugs and they won't damage the plants. Ah, oh, it wasn't the bank itself, it was where I used the card. So do you want to talk about that? The bank notified me. Do you want to tell us where that was or is that something you don't want to share? Like, is it a Dollar General? I did, did see online Target has some kind of wire basket shaped like chickens, and I guess there's been a run on those because all us chicken raisers want to have our eggs in a cute little wire chicken shaped basket. So you can raise them off the land. That's what this lady told me, but but it was in an enclosure. If you just let them run around, something's going to eat them. Her garden beds were enclosed with fence and stuff, and so she just put them inside there. Biddy Boo, how are you doing? Do you still have like three dogs? I know you said your cows are done. I was shopping all day, so I don't really know where it happened and when it did. They noticed a charge from a company in California, so I was immediately notified. Well, that's a good card. I'd had something like that happen to me, and I got notified right away. And they're like, do you want to charge this $1,000 worth of lingerie on your card? And I said, nope. And they said, all right, we got it. We had issues with that with our Walmart. Oh, said Bitty Boo. Maybe they're getting hacked or something. I don't know. I have five dogs. <laughs> you big softy, I don't know how you put up with them. We have two and they drive me crazy. Do not trust emails you receive and do not click links in those emails. Exactly. I got one from the post office. The post office needs to let you know there's a problem with your package. The post office doesn't send me emails. That's not how they operate. So I deleted that. And uh, yeah, there's scammers out there for sure. Biddy Boo, we have two cats now too. One of them adopted us. It was a stray. And then the other one our daughter gave us. And she kind of adopted us too. They're all right. There's no mice around. So that's a good thing. There's Albo. I pray everyone is well. Same to you. How are things in your area? The duck came back to, to drink some water. So that duck is half Pekin, half Cayuga, and it was incubated. The eggs were incubated, and then my friend raised it up till it got as big as it is. And it's a female, and she and the Pekin are going to go take a little drink and a little splash around in there. They can be in a chicken tractor and move around. On YouTube, see Living Traditions Homestead, Kevin and Sarah. They have lots of quail out in an A-frame with their geese. And there is Smile and Mary. Hello. Thanks for supporting the channel, Smile and Mary. Steak and Shake was bad for a credit card. Oh, good tip. I did find your wife on the internet, too. Thank you so much for these videos. You're welcome, Jody. They can be in a, oh, yep, yeah, we already read that. Hang on. Spring is sprung and everything is beautiful. You, yep, same. We're showing everybody all the blossoms, the blackberries and the peach tree right here and the ducks running around. Yeah. 
Red buds and uh, dogwoods already bloomed. Well, the dogwoods are still blooming, but we've got flowers and stuff, tulips, stuff. Um, uh, whoa. I've had two Walmart purchases go bad both times. The bank honored it. Holidays are where it goes crazy for fraud. Sergeant James had two Uber Eats charges in Holland and Spain and two in Canada and one in Boston. Boy, you've been traveling around a lot, Sergeant James. <laughs> I'm sure the credit card's like, how was he in Holland, Spain, Canada, and Boston all around the same time? There's Bama Buckeye. Hello, SK, and thank you for supporting the channel. Here in Northern Indiana, the red buds are just getting ready to pop. Oh, look, there's a little duck right underneath the bench, too. I heard it creeping up behind me. Here, it's a younger, younger one. There it goes. Oh, wait, no, that's the older one. She's got a limp. Yeah, she hatched a duckling once and then didn't take care of the one she hatched. She's older. Yeah, let's see. Um, love Navy Federal for calling me every time. Yes. They will get that from the bugs in the lawn in the garden. Exactly. Citizens Bank started messing up my bank credit card. They messed up and pulled my payment to my Discover card. And they made my credit points go down 36 points. They repaid it, but the point didn't go up. Well, that's not very good. Yeah, I had a credit card make me mad one time. Um, pretty sure it was Capital One. They took over the account from another bank, and that bank used to, like, if you didn't make your payment, they just charged you extra the next month, like a late fee or whatever. And well, these guys took over, and they told me, we're going to, if you didn't make your full payment, we are going to put a stop on your card. And I called them up and I said, uh, you just took over this account. The other people would just charge me more if I didn't make my, like, had a late payment or if I didn't want to make the full payment. Because we pay our cards in full every month. Um, and they said, well, I'm really sorry. This is how we're going to do things. I'm... I'm taking the legs up. Give me a second. As a matter of fact, it works better if I do it like this. Wait, nope. It locked the orientation when I did it like that. All right, you'll just have to see the top of my head for a minute. Anyway, after I called them and they said, well, we can't change our policy. This is how we do things. I said, okay, well, I've had this credit card happily with this one bank for 15 years, and now I'm canceling you. And I got a letter back that said, if you cancel us, you can never have a card with us again. And I said, good, because I don't want to. But we have pretty good credit. And so every month or so, I get a, one of those automated letters from those ding-dongs to Capital One saying, here's $200 cash if you'll get our credit card. And I'm like, no. Nope. Once you've messed around with my credit and, and changed the terms on my credit card, we're done. There's a million credit cards out there, and I'm going to find one that will do things the way I'm used to and the way I want it done. So, there you go. Yes, you want the cards that will cover for you, that will say, hey, you don't want this. Go Navy! I've been multiple Uber and Gamer charges in California. The bank took care of it. Yeah, you want your bank and your card to take care of these things. Not to say, oh, well, you owe us $1,000 even though you've never been to California. Yep. What was supposed... Was that supposed to scare you? That's not really fair. They think we need them. They need us. That's exactly right. All right, y'all. I'm going to head back down towards the house. Because the sun's going down, and I gotta make sure those chickens get put up. So hang on, we're going for another ride. Here, maybe I'll go this way this time. All right, now let me reverse you so you can see. Okay.
this will be the fun part. wild rose bush that's about four feet above my head just to give you an idea of how tall that is all right let's see who's still out here scratching come on girls get in there get to bed you rotten birds oh and the turkey came back out i must have left her door open too come on girls get in there come on girls let's go Come on, girls. Let's go. Come on. Get in a kennel somewhere. Come on. Let's go. Come on. At least she's got the right idea. Come on, girls. Come on. the turkey egg those two right there and I am going to take that bedding and put it in there <clears throat> and put her eggs back on it in case that turkey wants to lay hey there's most of these shalom I didn't kill no chicken I just moved her she didn't want to come in here she uh some of them get used to just going wherever they want to but since i donated some today i'm trying to keep better track of them you know, that guy a little scared and then she's sitting on a nest right up there all right so right in here is where i'll put this stuff There we go. It's gonna spread that out for her. Get her a nice little rounded area in there. Oh! And then, whoop! These things are pretty big compared to the chicken eggs. Get that in there. Put them in there for her. Let's see if she'll want to lay in there tomorrow. All right. Go. Here, I'll just show you that kind of rock wall thing going on there. Let's see. While I attach this, just for a moment of peace and quiet and not moving around, i put that while I lock this up. Simplify to all the crayon eaters. Are pine shavings better than hay or straw? I think any of them are fine, Denise. I just happen to have those. So I thought I would use them. I don't have any hay or straw right now. There's that stray cat right there following me around. He's a friendly guy. 
and then a couple of birds in there. I'm gonna have to train them to all go in there because there's plenty of room now that we we gave away six. PJ and I don't need that many birds. I just like having them, but since I may be out of commission for a little while, we'll get rid of them. So see, there's that one. She's so stubborn. She went behind the run, not in it. She'll probably wind up jumping on top of the coop or something. And this one's old. She's like three or four years old. Still hanging in there, though. Yeah. All right. So let's do this. We found that hay mats. We found, okay. in my opinion, no pine, sh pine shavings cause the odor. Biddy boo. Have to go have a blessed night. All much love and hugs. Thanks, Biddy. Same to you. The hay mats down really bad, especially in the winter. Straw and pine shavings move around better and compost better. As a crayon eater, I say hoo hoo uh, I think crayon eaters are marines. I don't know why they say that, but... Okay, try not to step on the cat as I head back to the house. Look out, you rascals. There we go. Now the sun's going down. I'll let you guys get a picture of that. Turn this around again. Oh, and above chat. And there's Christy Hubbard. Shalom. Hi, Christy. Yep, sun going down. Let me go like this. Give you a shot of the pond, which this year is super low. Some blackberry vines. Yep, and then there is the pond. We got the lily pads right in there. Tons of little, uh, what do you call it? Hay with peat moss. There's an idea. I love that. And sand smells better, makes it so you can compost right on the garden. That's an excellent tip, Miss Vicky. Um, tons of tadpoles in there, little bitty pad tadpoles. I walked down there recently. See that patch is actually soil. And so I walked down there and sat there and looked in and uh, there were tadpoles all over the place. So that's our pond. That's the greenhouse. I got the shade cloth put on the top. And the hydrator, I need to empty that guy out. And I've got tons of herbs in there that I can put in there. I've got oregano that's putting out tons. Look at this guy. He's too much. I don't really like you rubbing on me, guy. I, I'm, stop trying to mark me. All right, you rascal. Leave me alone. So maybe I go, go to the porch. Oh. Were you sanding some wood shavings? Start buying the Fox Fire series. You and PJ have used them. Yes, they're great. The Fox Fire is awesome. Yeah, Fox Fire's got lots of good information in there, especially for homesteading kind of stuff. Just like the um, Back to Basics from Reader's Digest. Yeah. All right. Can sit in my rocking chair. Oop, turn it around. Maybe sit here another five, ten minutes. Go a full hour. Hey, stop. Oh, again, I'm adjusting the legs. And the cat is in my lap. No, 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 no. Not about the, the lap thing, guy. That is not my jam. Okay. Does anybody else out there have cats? Biddy Boo has two. I know Lamp Keeper's got like three. Ugh. We are dog people, so having the cats is really, you know, different for us. Like, look, and he's so insistent. Rub me, Mommy. I want to be on the live stream. 
pay attention to me. No. I still have many of the Fox Farm books from way back. Great books. I just visited the Fox Farm Museum in North Georgia and bought the whole set. Wise purchase. Paula Joe, you have 13 cats right now. Oh my gosh. 15, I think, something like that says aid well we've got someone in our congregation who can beat us they have 30 to 40 cats and they they have fixed them all so they adopt them from their local pound and they fix them and they they're yeah they swear there's like 40 of them before i just had babies not sure how many they are in hiding wow i have three and getting ready to take over my daughter's four a total of seven Oh my gosh, after I move on my land, I don't know how y'all are going to stand it. I have a sweet cat named Beans. I knew that cat in the lap attempt would be forthcoming. Uh, uh, I mean, there. I really enjoy certain things about them. I, I like his personality. is more friendly. The female's a little less friendly. But like, they do things that drive me nuts like the female will climb this window and with the screen and like dig her claws in it if she is trying to get our attention or she thinks i haven't fed her enough she'll do that at like two in the morning and also she'll climb up the uh the outer door of our front door she'll just be on the screen i've, I've caught her all the way at the top of it and i'm like eventually you're not gonna have any screen left if they keep up with that nonsense Bam, a buck. I have an old pair of red wings for 20 years. They look like crap are still going. Okay, but you're talking about boots. All are fixed. Lost Light has four. I have 12 come from the cattle farm. They don't feed them. I fix all of them. Good suggestion. Yes, and two dogs. They are all rescues. Well, bless you. My, my daughters rescue animals, and I think that's fantastic. Um, they're dogs and cats, like... My one daughter, all her, she has two dogs, both of them were dumped, and the cat, she only had one cat, but she got that cat from a rescue, and then the other cat she has showed up too. Um, they make an animal screen in a camper, plus her lab pit mix. Oh, bless you, y'all need to do a run or something outside. Um, the one thing that the people with 40 cats told me, uh, these guys are not allowed in the house. We are both allergic, supposedly allergic. Oh, that one hand is trying to figure out how to get in. I might have to get up there. Go up there and let her in. Um, have a great now, y'all, and a blessed week. Shalom, shalom, Denise. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, she's getting a drink of water. Maybe I should go open the coop door for her. My sister had six cats at one time. So did my mom. Like, I I don't know how people stand their little shenanigans. Like, that one little cat, every time we walk inside, if we don't shut the door all the way, she pushes her way and comes in the house. And it's like, she knows she's not supposed to, but she keeps doing it time after time. Okay, there's two hens that need to go in yet. All right, girls, look, I will open the coop and I will watch you go in. You're waiting until the last possible moment. There they are, him running. Just open the door and I'll go in. All right, come on, girls. No, do not jump up. Go get in the coop. Oh, sorry. Starting to drift off to sleep, so better bounce. Shalom. Have a good night, Vicky. We're already planning a screened in porch. You will not regret it. Cats just come as volunteers, like magic. Yes, little magic cats. There are the errant chickens. Rascals. Mm. 
Now I will admit, they keep the mice population down, and that's a good thing because the mice are also irritating, especially when you try to store things like food and whatnot. You got mice digging into your bins and eating through the lids of plastic containers and stuff like that. That's no good. Paula Joe, what have you heard about um, diatomaceous earth? Because it seemed to do an okay job for me last year. Come on. Come on, girls. Get in that coop. Don't be little stinkers. They want to hang out with the rooster, but they didn't follow him <laughs> earlier. Come on. We used to have a fox terrier who would gather our chickens for us. Love that dog. Yeah, we had a cattle dog, a blue healer that would do that too. Man, she was awesome. Use it all the time, she says. Okay, that's a good word for me. I think they went in. Yeah, perfect. Good job, ladies. That's what we want. Okay. That is what we want. All right, everyone's up. Here, here's my protector. Still following me around. Hello, RG. We use DE in our garden and the chicken's dust bath. That's a good idea. And there's laser focus. Shalom. Okay, now he's going to follow me back. Okay. There we go. All right. Man, if he was like 100 pounds, he'd be scary. And when he meows... He shows his fangs, and it's actually kind of like, wow, I'm glad you're not trying to bite me with those things. Okay. Big news. We got our old tent frame completely down today. Tomorrow, installing an RV hookup. Then it's just a matter of 9F passing inspections, and we can finally, after seven years, be living on our land again. That's great news, Lamp Keeper. Historically, cats are wherever there is agriculture. Well, that makes sense, right? I mean, come on. If he was orange and black, he looks like a mini tiger. Or a mini mountain lion. Cats are usually very independent. They are total creatures of habit, though. My nose are nightly scheduled better than me. And they choose you. Yes. And then they mark you. Like he's trying to. They come rub on your leg. So all the other cats know your take. Excuse me you're taken and on ships well that makes sense he looks like my jasper yeah he's a gray tabby okay. oh the next excuse me the next sign i'm looking for of spring and summer actually arriving are the hummingbirds coming back only cats know what is in their mind. That's absolutely true. And they do sleep all day and then they run around at night. Yep. Too late. You're his person. Right. It's probably because I was willing to feed him. He showed up looking so rough in the middle of winter and I couldn't not feed him. He just, it, I felt really bad for him. Oh, and there's some mosquitoes. I guess that's another sign that spring and summer are here. But yeah, I I kind of only did the hummingbird feeder for them part of the time last summer because we wound up either going somewhere or having some sort of issue that it just became too much for me to keep filling that thing every two days. All right, y'all, 20 seconds left to the live stream because then it will be at one hour total. Is there anything else anyone wants to say or ask before I sign off? And let me say, I appreciate you all dropping in. I appreciate your comments. Um, it's really cool to hear your point of view. Thanks for chatting while doing evening chores. Thank you, Lost Light. I know it was a little, uh, what do you call it? disjointed but it's honest oh thank you don't waste your 20 seconds have a blessed evening thank you aid thumbs up to you too glad you had a good experience you were saying you did something kind of like i did like a retreat or something and that's really exciting 
keep doing the things. That's right. Have a great week. Thanks so much for the live stream. I love catching and talking with everyone. And I love the fact that you were able to um, offer up some wisdom and some experience too. I love hearing y'all's comments. Please don't be shy in here. Love seeing your progress. Thank you. Appreciate your advice and your video, says Bama, Bama Buckeye. All right. Bless y'all. I'm out. Shalom. Got here late. Talk about Castle Mountain. It was Sunkable Sam. Looking at fun story. Okay. We